Hello there, I'm Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro Neurologist, and welcome to your exciting Aquarius new moon and beginning of February Astro Numerology forecast. I say exciting because nearly every planet is activated by this new moon and it's all happening in the powerful 11 universal month for February. Now this new moon takes place on February 8th, which is the number of infinity and infinite opportunities is what we're going to all have after this new moon. Plus it's the Chinese new year. So the new beginnings are absolutely phenomenal this time around. The number 11 for February is double new beginnings, double one. The new moon happens on a 19 universal date in numerology and 19 degrees in Aquarius are where the sun and moon will be. 19 is also a number of new beginnings. So when you tie it all together, the Chinese new year, Aquarius, the sign of the future, the many new beginnings in the numerology code, there's really lots and lots and lots to celebrate. So, Let's look at this special new moon more closely because there's really a lot I want to share with you. Aquarius is an air sign. So even though the symbol for the sign is two wavy lines resembling waves, think of them as sine waves, as flowing through the air, penetrating time and space. So imagine yourself flying with powerful wings to any destination, anywhere in time. Aquarius and the number eight are timeless. They're asking you to let go of the past and just be. Just be yourself. Trust in your uniqueness. Trust in your innocence, your gifts that are unique to you. Trust in what makes you different, what gives you excitement because you're exploring your own gifts. So Aquarius gives you the wings of Uranus, the adventure and breakthrough planet, the bringer of freedom. And since Uranus is in the midst of its final close visit with Pluto in that 90 degree square that they've been in for three and a half years, right? These two powerful game changing planets, they are now coming into that final culminating uh, visit with each other. And this will be over by the end of February. We'll still feel it through some of the year, but it's super strong right now. And to add to all that breakthrough energy, when Mercury stationed from retrograde to direct at the end of January, it was right next to Pluto. And this close contact really opened our consciousness to accepting change and transformation and how we view Mercury and think Mercury about things, right? So the new moon in Aquarius is placing a big exclamation point on these big shifts. And what's so refreshing about Aquarius is of all the signs, it couldn't care less about what anyone else thinks. So what you're thinking about now is truly yours. It's special, it's unique, it's, you're comfortable with breakthroughs now, you're comfortable with change, because Aquarius is about surrender, not about attachment. So this month, you'll be surrendering and awakening to your wonderful individuality, your genius. Now let's look at the numerology code for February because surrender and awakening are also keywords for that beautiful number 11. February in 2016 is an 11 universal month and 11 is a powerful master number. It's made up of the gateway of two ones and they're creating a column on each side, one plus one, and that equals two, right? Now February is the second month of the year celebrating two people, relationships, and love, Valentine's Day. And it's the perfect lineup this year with the number two and 11, also representing two people in balance, two people cooperating, compromising, communicating, sharing. Now putting all these factors together, you can see that many of your breakthroughs and awakenings and discoveries, your aha moments, this month are going to happen in the field of your new and old relationships and how you share your message, how you communicate. Now this new moon happens on February 8th, as I said, in 2016, which is a 19 universal date. And the sun and moon will be at 19 degrees on that very date, right, in Aquarius. Talk about amazing. The same 19 date and 19 degree new moon juxtaposition we had in January for that new moon as well. So really the message has fast forwarded now 
And the message is that you're making so much progress in these past months and especially these past weeks, right? That you're adjusting to a lot of internal and external growth spurts and they're liberating you now. Aquarius is about liberation. 19 is the Prince of Heaven number of new beginnings. It's merging with the number 11 of double new beginnings. There's so much lighting up and surrendering in you right now, letting go, right? To feel that freedom. And that is also very healing. And that's reflected, that healing energy by Venus going right between Pluto and Mercury. Venus will be at 19 degrees and Chiron is forming a beautiful sextile to Pluto, Mercury and Venus and also will be at 19 degrees. That's amazing. The sun and moon are at 19. The Prince of Heaven number representing the light of the sun. 19 is your inner light. It means shine your beautiful light, light up the darkness with your brilliant breakthrough ideas. Pay no attention to what anyone thinks of you move forward, heal yourself. And with Venus in the mix, you're blessed with love, abundance, beauty, and recognizing who and what carries the most value for you. Chiron brings the healing energy. It caresses your wounds. It lights up the cures that will move you to a healing place of surrender. Now with Pluto, Venus, and Mercury forming that square to Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, where this new moon is taking place, you're thinking differently about how to manifest money and security. What does money really mean to you? Are your thoughts about your finances in line with what you're actually asking for? Meaning, have you made friends with money? You'll also look at your love life from a new angle. You'll come out of this period refreshed and freed up of old patterns regarding money and relationships, which is really going to open a lot of doors for you. Now remember that highly fortunate Jupiter North Node conjunction I've been talking about. It's still active for many more weeks. Joy, expansion, all in your close relationships. Joy and expansion also about your future. These are playing a huge part in this storyline of shifts and change. So if you're feeling the power of these changes in your life, then just surrender to that movement that's happening. Just trust it. Let it sweep through your life. Always remember it's how you think and feel about the change that's going to set the stage for how you experience it. If you surrender and accept that the universe is sending you exactly what you need at any given moment in time, then you'll give thanks for it. You'll move through the moment with gratitude instead of resistance. And you'll make the changes in your life with a knowing that it's all for the best. Aquarius is about breaking free. It's about taking anything you've boxed up and hidden away and it reveals what's inside so that everything is, is out in the open. It's transparent. It's visible. It's ready for liftoff. So nothing's hidden. Aquarius rules the 11th house in astrology and we're in an 11 month. And this is the house of the future, of connecting to others, of friends and groups and organizations, your tribe. So your hopes and your intentions, your wishes, your goals, your aspirations, they're all out on the table, out in the open, being aired out and taken on the wings of change into the future. So you have to be completely open and honest and unafraid of what might come because breakthroughs happen in the moment of complete freedom and flexibility. And that's why merging the 11 gateway that's happening this February with the remarkable and potent new moon in Aquarius is so exciting. You're breaking free from what's expected of you the norm is no longer important. All that matters is that you don't conform to what your family, your culture, society expect of you. All that matters is that your programming is set free. Do not worry about the strong reactions from anyone around you. You'll need to push through to make this happen. You'll need strength and that strength is there for you. Remember the number eight for February 8th? That's providing you confidence and courage and strong energy that's required to forge your brand new way. Now, one final thing, Mars and Scorpio is forming a very, very tight square with this new moon. 
both Mars and Aquarius are in fixed signs. So well, Aquarius is a fixed sign. So you might be resisting the call to action to change. So if you feel yourself hanging on, sticking to an old pattern, an old job, an old profession, a home, whatever it is, because it's familiar, right? And because you feel more in control with the old or others are not supporting the changes you intuitively know are necessary, just let go, just surrender. Surrender and you'll be open to miraculous shifts. Surrender to your genius, your uniqueness. Knowledge is only going to get you so far. At some point, you're going to hit a roadblock and it's only transcended when you surrender to inspiration. When you ad lib, when you flow free in space, because knowledge will take you right up to that 11 portal and then you have to let go. And that's where knowing happens. So the difference between knowledge and just a knowing is just being in the present moment, right? When you're engaged, when all the knowledge you've gathered up until now turns just into wisdom. You're free to access the universal treasures of truth, the eternal grid of light, the infinite constant energy that's represented by the number eight. This is such a wonderful new moon of breakthroughs and freedom and liberation. So let it light up your life with excitement and new beginnings. And I'll see you soon for the full moon and second half of February forecast.